All right, so welcome to the first section of the civil FE exam review. Um, this section is the mathematics and statistics section. And today we're going to be focusing specifically on um, analytic geometry. And according to the reference handbook, it says that we have roughly eight to 12 um, questions that is gonna be given for the mathematics section. So let's go ahead and dive into this, this first question. So it says the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals 25. What is the length of the radius? All right, so what, are, what information are we given? Well, we're, we're given the equation of a circle. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the length of the radius. Okay, are there any formulas that we need? Uh, yes. So first thing that I would do is a search in uh, my main, my reference handbook. I would search circle and see if I can find the equation of a circle. And it's the first thing that comes up. So let's zoom into here. So it says, uh, shows us a circle. And it basically says that the center of that circle, um, and you can see this kind of diagram um, that it gives us, where we have um, H, which is the center, K is the other point. So you got H here and K. So H is the X, K is the Y point. Um, and then we have R, which is the radius. So it says um, from this that the square root of X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared gives us R, R radius, All right? So good, that's all great information. Um, but how, how can we take our formula and mimic it, right? So basically we know that um, in our particular formula for the circle, we have X minus zero squared plus Y minus zero squared um, is equal to r squared. And so what I did was said, okay, for our equation, we don't have the square root, right? For our equation, we just have x squared plus y squared equals 25. The reason why I put zero in because our h, it just lets from this equation, you know that our H is zero because it doesn't show up and our Y, I mean, our K is zero. All right, so, um, so we just substitute those. So how do we get um, our answer, right? So if we know that R squared is our 25, All right, what is R? R equals the square root of 25, which equals five. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FE exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course, and I have made it test taker proof. 
And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.